In less than one year, Kenyans will go to the polls to pick leaders who will steer the economy for the next five years. The 2017 general election is already being touted as one of the most competitive and expensive in the history of politics in Kenya. There are also fears that the economy is likely to take a beating from these from the rising political temperature. Vision 2030 Delivery Board Chair James Mwangi, however, says the Kenyan economy is well diversified to absorb these shocks. We are going to an election where all of us are trusting the electoral uh, mechanism or the independent electoral. Everybody has trust in it. So nobody is going uh, with a perception. So we, we can easily deal with the reality. Mwangi says... Investors' renewed appetite for Kenya is further expected to drive economic growth. In August this year, Greenfield Investment Monitor reported that Kenya attracted 96 projects in 2015, a 54.8% increase from 2014, and the highest rate of investment since the monitor began recording data in the year 2003. This placed Kenya as the second hottest investment destination on the continent behind South Africa with a total investment portfolio of $2.55 billion. So essentially what it means is that the two most important institutions for our election process can be given the benefit of doubt. They are enjoying trust. This week, the International Monetary Fund projected Kenya to record an economic growth of 5.9% this year and 6.1% in 2017. Mwangi says ongoing investment in infrastructure is also expected to positively contribute to the economy in the short to medium term.